Hi there, in this video we're going to use a chemical paint stripper to strip back the paint from this metal surface. Okay, so I'm in a bit of a dilemma. I'm halfway through this high lift jack restoration and I've tried a number of different means mineral turp, wire brushing, sandpaper, even chiseling, scraping that paint off and you can see we're slowly getting there but it's very labor intensive so I'm gonna try a new technique using this paint stripper which I haven't used before and I'm gonna show you how to do this safely now there's a few things that we have to be mindful of this stuff is poison and it's pretty dangerous so make sure you take all the necessary precautions so today I'll be wearing safety glasses a safety mask as well as gloves um, I'm wearing long sleeve clothing as well as safety boots. Make sure we're in a well ventilated area. For me, I'm outside, so that's pretty good. Now, I've just grabbed a lid from one of the spray cans and I'm gonna fill it up with this paint stripper and that saves me using the brush each time in the actual container. So I can just quickly dab it in there and apply. Now, how do we actually apply this? So according to the instructions, it says apply a thick coating, two to three millimeters using a paintbrush. Allow the paint to soften and blister approximately two to 15 minutes. Work on a small section at a time to prevent paint re-hardening. So we're not gonna do the whole high lift beam just yet. We'll do it in stages and see how this goes. Okay, so now it's time to apply it and then give it about 15 minutes and then we scrape it off. So it's been about five minutes and the paint's already started to blister. So I'm just gonna grab the chisel there and you can see that paint's just coming off pretty easily. Just like that. There you go, some of that. Let's go on the other side. Mm, that's so good, so easy. I've scraped a fair bit off and very easily actually. So this product actually works very well. I might do a second coat just in case, but I will clean that up a little bit. Uh, maybe with some mineral turps, make it look a bit better and just see what's left over. So there you have it, that's with one coat of that paint stripper and a little bit of cleaning, scraping and wire brushing. Um, and that paint's come off very quickly and very easily. You can see all the paint um, that's left over. Um, so that's probably saved me a whole heap of work and time as well. So I highly recommend if you're gonna do something like this, get some paint stripper. Just be mindful to take every precaution uh, necessary and that'll help you get the job done a whole lot quicker and more effectively. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.